My philosophy towards education is having a constructive based approach to learning. I feel like if students have a hands-on approach to learning, they'll be more willing to do for you in a classroom. So if I give my all in class, they'll be more willing to give their all in the classroom. A good friend of mine once told me, you are who you are because of who raised you. And I truly stick to that. My parents have been some of the best encouraging forces in my life. And my father taught young children. He took young kids and taught them basketball and trying to keep them off the streets. And once he realized that I had that personal touch with youth, he was like, this is what you're supposed to do. And you really have to take that gift and give it to someone else. I, I laugh in class. I make fun of myself. Um, I like for my students to see that I'm human, that I have flaws, and that it's okay to make a mistake. Uh, my quote that I always give to every student that's walked inside my classroom is, our attitudes are the library of our past and the prophets of our future. And I feel like if I realize that I made a mistake and I'm able to put it up on the shelf and learn from that mistake, that indelible truth is something that will live with me for the rest of my life. And if I can learn from that and pass that on from generation to generation, that's always, that's once again, that's another torch you're passing on to someone else. I think my greatest strength is choosing wisdom over being smart. My father told me that wisdom is a person that is willing to learn and relearn to meet their students where they are, to take them where they want to go. Whereas a smart person knows everything. And if you know everything, you will never be able to adapt to the changes and the different type of students that will come in your classroom. One of the funniest moments, um, I don't know if it's more funny or embarrassing, um, I was, um, teaching my students and we have the overhead projectors and at the time the way my room is set up um, there's cords everywhere and I was teaching the class and I'm walking through the class which I, I have two rooms I teach I co-teach with a history teacher so our room's really big and so I'm walking and kind of talking with the kids uh, as I'm teaching the lesson and they have all, all the kids at Benton High School have um, laptops and one of the kids cord, which I'm usually pretty good at seeing them, but I didn't see this one this time. And I literally tripped and fell and got up and made it part of my assignment, like part of my lesson. And the students didn't even laugh. Like I literally fell and got up <laughs> and continued teaching. And like I said, just made it part of my uh, teaching. But when I am, when I am such a personable teacher, students didn't even realize that I'd actually fallen. They thought it was really part of what I was teaching.